Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a talking video where I give some advice to some first year university students. So if you are in matric or if you are about to start varsity or you've just begun varsity, this video is for you. So keep watching. So I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks that I have learned that have kept me sane, that allowed me to pass and make it through my university journey quite easily. I'm not prescribing anything. You can do whatever you want. Ignore me, whatevs. It's your career. Um, but these are some things that I wish someone had told me before I started Varsity and I think they may be helpful to you. Especially if you are moving from a different city, my advice to you would be to participate. So if you are in res, so these tips are going to have a bit of a res bias because I was in res for the first two years and the UCT bias because I was at UCT. But yeah, if you're in res and you came from a different city, my advice to you is to participate. So in a week, which is almost ending now, they have activities, your res will have functions and socials with other reses and initiatives and committees and all of that. And my my i would just recommend participating it's a great way number one to make friends try not to like just keep stuck to your high school friendship circle like branch out as varsity like meet people because you'll meet people that you'll probably click with even better than your high school friends so branch out just like don't think you're too cool to try don't think you're too cool to participate get involved in the activities find out what you like and what you don't like by actually participating in them and then you have fun stories to tell even if they sucked but like just try especially if you're shy if you're not sure how to make friends i wasn't sure how to make friends because i went to one school from grade triple nine to matric so the friends i had were the friends that i had like i didn't have i didn't know anyone else from my school pretty much so it was very very nerve-wracking for me to go to varsity so definitely just branch out participate in activities try things sign up for clubs sign up for societies especially ones that align with your interests and then go to those activities they have fun parties they have like mixes networking events things like that and actually some of them provide opportunities like investoc and actus um those places actually have like pitching events where if you have a business idea or something you can actually get funding for your ideas or network with potential employers um or get internships things like that so in these societies actually be active participate and just like try number two don't get fooled by the ikes vibe people i did i never used it maybe you'll use it but like don't feel pressured to sign up just because they're there like weigh the costs and benefits think about it and then do it but yeah don't feel the pressure to sign up just because they're giving you a free t-shirt you can buy those t-shirts if you want to have school spirit and they're cool to have at the game like ooh, at least go to one rugby game they're not like i don't know if the ikes are even good anymore but like just go it's fine ooh, red what like ikes third is pretty much my advice to everyone all the time go to class just this should have been number one and this should be number one through however many I go through. Just go to class. Just, just go. Go to class. Go to your tuts. Just go to the thing you're paying to be there for or someone is paying for you to be there for. Because I promise you, I promise you, it makes your life so much easier. If you just go and listen the first time, even if you're not paying attention that day or you don't feel like taking notes, just go because you'll absorb things subconsciously and lecturers especially later in the semester they get really really lazy and they start dropping hits or they focus particularly on certain sections and those things are things you should know for tests and exams but those things aren't emphasized in the lecture slides so yeah go to class lecture recordings are nice because you can sit back and watch them at home but you'll often find that you don't keep up to date every day and then you're gonna fall behind and then it's now test week and you have to watch four weeks of lecture videos in two days and make notes and do your tuts because you weren't going to your tuts. So like just rather keep up as you go because then tests and stuff are just revision and you're not seeing new information all the time and then you won't be flustered with anxiety and stuff like that. Like just rather, just, just make your life easier. Just, just, okay, just. Trust me, do your tuts and try, try, make an effort for your tutorials, for your assignments, for your tests. Please try. I've said this in my other videos and I'm going to say it again. It is so difficult to save your semester with an exam alone because exams come out of 
nowhere. They take you for a loop, they take you for the boost, they make you a slob tiger, all love, everything. They're just not it. And if your entire semester is relying on one exam, just don't put yourself in that position if you can help it. Like, take ownership of your academics. No one's gonna chase you. No one's gonna make you submit anything. No one's gonna remind you about stuff. So you need to take accountability for your academics and just remember and submit and make an effort. Like, I remember in micro one, that is the, microeconomics one is probably the hardest course, one of the hardest courses I've ever had to do in my life. It's the only th time I think I've ever failed something, um, but it was very much not a fun time. And, the course community actually said, listen, if you're sitting on DP of 38% or like 36%, please don't even bother trying to appeal or write the exam because I think the DP was like 30% or something. It's like, if you're sitting on 38%, you need to get 82 or 76 or something in order to pass this course. And if you're already on 36, do you honestly believe you'll be able to get a higher distinction in order to pass? Like he wasn't even trying to be mean. He was just trying to be realistic. He was like, listen, just come take the course again in winter or in next semester and focus your energy on your other subjects. Don't fight me about this because let's just be realistic here. You need to channel your energy, make sure you're doing the best that you can at all times because it just makes life easy for yourself. Next up, resources. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of resources at university and a lot of people don't know this and they don't take advantage of them while they can. So you have your academic resources, there are your tutors, your lecturers, course conveners, um, like we have like this first year mentor buddy system I think, first year experience people, um, there are like faculty mentors and tutors and stuff, there are workshops that are held um, depending on your course, there's sometimes workshops and hot seats, there's the writing center, there's the ecos writing center, um, there is the library and the library has like not just the physical library, the online library has so many resources, there's the online learning that complements particularly UCT's resources, so like and there's more, do you get what I'm saying? Like there's a lot a lot of information at your disposal so if you are struggling actually ask for help as mu as difficult as that sounds i know i was also one of those people who'd rather suffer in silence than ask for help but please do it because there are facilities and there are people there dedicated to helping you and if you are unable to for some reason like you have someone passes away or you're really depressed or something like as difficult as it is just tell someone least of all your tutors or lecturers or something because especially in recent years um UCT has tried to become more compassionate but if you don't let them know something is going on they can't make adjustments for you they can't make concessions for you ask for help reach out use student wellness least of all just for med notes and stuff if you miss tests and assignments and need extensions so like make sure you use the the facilities and the resources at your disposal and speaking of resources there's also a lot of textbooks that are online so always be sure to look out for those and sometimes lecturers do get the departments do have extra copies that you can use when you need them beyond the library they do have copies that you can borrow if you don't want to buy your own also i'd recommend buying via second hand if you can help it like you don't need a first-hand textbook like nine times out of ten unless it's a brand new textbook and it's not online and for new textbooks usually they're online as well um, and you can find a PDF somewhere but if you can't try get it secondhand buy from a student who tutored or who did the course in the previous year before buy from pimp my books like just avoid spending money as much as you can because books get expensive and they add up speaking of which if anyone's doing fourth year business marketing at UCT and wants some textbooks how that app me. <laughs> Next, social life. Guys, especially if you're in a new city, it's always fun to go gallivanting. It's really fun to like explore the nightlife, do new things, meet new people, but also like balance. Find your balance because you are there to study. You must face your books. Face your books because you are not there to be a grooving champion. In four years time, you will not walk on that stage and vosh because you got a degree in groove. No, you want to get your degree in the thing that you studied. So remember to try and find your balance. Like you actually can do well in school, 
have a social life, even have a side hustle if you can. And like you can do it all, you can if you want, but you need to find your balance. But like try your best not to let the groove side overshadow the school side. I also recommend trying to find a side hustle if you can. You can do waitressing because there's obviously a lot of like restaurants and stuff around or monetize a skill that you have. Some people braid hair, I learned to do makeup and I was monetizing that. Like those things really do help. Like you just get by all the time, especially skills that don't require a lot of capital like YouTube. Okay, never mind. YouTube is maybe a bad example, but like braiding hair. Braiding hair is just the skill that you need to have. Makeup is the skill because if you're a student and you're just doing other people in res, you can use their makeup or you just buy a few products and you supplement like that. Like it's very easy to just find something that you're good at and monetize it. If you have a camera, become a amateur photographer for people because there, there are lots of bloggers and influencers and stuff on campus who want to shoot content so you can collaborate that way. So there's a lot of ways to make a little bit of extra coin that don't require too much of an investment on your side. If you have that pre-existing investment that you can monetize further. Also, don't order food. Like, try keep your spending to an absolute minimum. Student budget is real and you'll find that, that money finishes so quickly. So if you can, delete your order in, delete your Uber Eats, delete your like Mr. D, like just eat the food and rest. It's really not that bad. Sometimes it's okay. Like just try because you'll just burn through every single coin you have in your life if you are ordering food and paying for catering at res. So if you know that you're not going to eat three meals a day, then just cancel breakfast and then put a box of cereal in your room for when you feel like it. Just do lunch and dinner or just do dinner. I don't know. See what options you can get or just move into uh, self catering so that you can cook your own food or get going to like campus key or things like that. Like. Just don't waste money that you don't have, especially. Budget. Set a budget and stick to it as much as you can because you need to make your money work for you and try and save. If you are able to save, saving is really, really great, especially if a side hustle as well. Side hustle helps you finance lifestyle things and save at the same time. But yeah, most of all, you need to enjoy. There's a lot of things that, especially in Cape Town, there's a lot of things you can do and enjoy that don't cost a lot of money. Like going to a wine farm is actually surprisingly cheap. Like wine tasting and stuff can cost you like 60 Rand or 80 Rand. Constantia is from Rondebosch and stuff. It's like maybe an 80 or 90 or 100 Rand Uber and you split that between you and a few friends. It's not too much. So you can go on the red bus, you can go to the beach, the beach is free. You can like do lots of adventure things. So look out for deals on like Hyperly, The Entertainer. If you're an FMB user, The Entertainer is free this year. Just go download it. Um, on wiki deals, like look for specials and live your best life because you really can. There's so much fun stuff to do in Cape Town um, and in your other varsities probably, like, but go look for it and make the effort to save some coin because you can live a good life. So university actually is one of the best and worst times of your life. You will be stressed, you may get depressed, you may get really anxious, you may be overwhelmed or you may be fine. And I hope that you have an experience where you are fine. I hope that you get the help that you need if you do need help, that you have support, that you get a really good support system because Varsity is a group project. Get yourself friends in your class, friends in your faculty, people above you who can send you notes because it's a great way to thrive and survive. Like, make sure you utilize networks because even though you graduate alone, your degree is literally a group project. So find, find your tribe, get people to support you and do the best that you can and also learn outside of the scope of your classroom. There's so many things that you'll learn that have nothing to do with your degree. There's so many skills you can pick up that have nothing to do with your degree, but that doesn't make them any less valuable. Try your best to just open up your mind and enjoy the time that you're there. Be safe and just I wish you the best. I hope you. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other specific questions, especially UCT commerce related questions, I am here to answer. Um, but beyond that, I will catch you next time.